Good morning, everyone. As you can see, this is Dell XPS 13 7390 model. There are two versions, 7390 2-in-1, 7390 normal one. One of them touch enable and another one doesn't have any touch on the screen. So as you can see, when Windows got a problem, you need to have one of them like this, which is called Windows Installer. Windows 11, by the way, this one, and that is created in UEFI format. Because of this machine doesn't have any USB port, so we connect it with Type-C adapter. So switch it off completely, and once it's switched off and USB connected, then press the power button, straight away come back to F2. Dell is always great for BIOS settings because they always keep it unique and constant with F2. So this is the BIOS screen, you can see it comes with overview. You can check all the settings in here. We're not going to change anything. Straight away, we're going to go to the second option, which is boot options. From here, we can see which boot options are enabled and also is going to show you which mood UEFI or legacy currently in UEFI because we are installing Windows 11. So there is one setting so we, we need to enable it. Okay. And from security section, what we're going to do, we're going to turn on the TPM. By the way, secure boot is not right here. This is the one, TPM 2.0. By default, that is enabled. If it is not, then you can turn it on. Okay, that's the only settings in security. Then we're going to go to secure boot options, which also we need to enable it. These are the couple of settings you need to change. How simple it is, right? Then exit it. Now we're going to keep pressing F12 while it's restarting. So it's going to take us directly to the temporary boot option and it's going to show us the available list, which one we can choose for Windows installation. So from here, I'm going to select my USB stick they connected with it, which is that one. So once we select it, and it's going to restart again and load up from the Windows boot installer, right? So here it would take a couple of minutes. It depends how fast your USB is. Okay, sometimes that could take less. So let's load it up and get back to Windows setup page. So as you can see, it says setup is starting. For some reason, it shows a buffering. And from here, we're going to select whatever we like to select, like language, region, and stuff like that. Okay. And Windows 10 and 11 installation, almost same. <clears throat> there is no any difference. And from here, this is the most sensitive part. So before you delete those partition, make sure you back up your data. Because if you delete those partition, you're going to lose any existing data. I don't have any data, so I deleted all of them just to make a single partition. Okay, so once you delete like this one by one, it's going to create only one unallocated format. And we can just hit next to get to the setup to begin. So we're going to hit next in there. And the main process has begun now. It's going to take 10 to 15 minutes and setup would be completed. You don't need to do anything in here. So let's check end of this video if the boot is successful or not. By the way, if you don't know how to create your bootable Windows 11 thumb drive, you can check the video link would be in the description. There are two formats available, EVFI and Legacy. So I use Rofus to create my bootable Windows installer. Whenever I want to install in UEFI format, I always choose GPT, not the MBR. By the way, you can check the video link would be in the description. So let's carry on and check end of the day if that is successful or not.
So the setup has done already and it's loading up as you can see. Now from here it's quite simple, it's like a brand new laptop now. You can customize your settings, you can choose the keyboard layout and other stuff. Okay, so you just follow the instruction. There is nothing to make a mistake and once you go to the next one by one, you will finalize the setup and everything will be done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.